Hi, I'm Kaylee from createwithkaylee.com. I'm here today to show you how to make what I think is a really fun project. So here in the UK, we are really excited about um, our Prince Harry's wedding that's coming up. So in a very typically British fashion, I've decided to have a garden party on the day of the wedding to celebrate with some of my nearest and dearest. And well, like any crafter would do, I have decided to go ahead and decorate it for myself. So there's a couple of things I'm going to show you today. First of all, I'm going to show you how to make this love heart bunting. I thought this was fantastic um, way to decorate because not only is it in um, the British colours or as near as I could get, um, it's also hearts which is great for, for weddings and things. So this is really easy to make and I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm also going to ha show you how to make a little bit more traditional style bunting just in the triangle style. So the, both of these tutorials are really easy to do but make some really beautiful decorations um, for if you're having your very own royal wedding party um, or if you just want to decorate for any event. So one of the first things I'll show you is I've created this invitation. It's got a little bit of sparkles on it um, and this invitation as well as some either name plates so you can write people's name on them or signs for the food. So I'm going to use mine to write the food that I'm doing. Now both of these are on my blog as a free download. So for the name plates, I have nine to a page. You can print these off, print them on the Whisper, the Stamping Up Whisper White cardstock and you get a really nice print image. Get nine to a page and I'm also going to give you the measurements on the blog just to back them. I've also gone ahead and created an invitation for you. You get four to a page of these and it just says you invited royal wedding um, garden party the date which is maybe the 19th the time and the location I've left blank so you can add them in yourself and I put a little hats are encouraged um, so you can at the bottom because what wedding would be complete without a big hat so the measurements of these are on the blog please feel free to print them out and use them and just tag me on social media if you have your own party I'd love to see what you've done so I'm going to start off with the um, more traditional bunting. Now for this you're going to take a piece of A4 cardstock um, and you're going to have it A4 width by 6 inches. And I'm going to show you how to create this template and then you can just notch up your own. So the colours I've used today are Whisper White, Oops. Real, Real Red and Night of Navy. Now it is as close to the British colours I could get. Um, sometimes the Knight of Navy should be, we've got a new colour coming in, that would be great. Bushel Blue is a really good colour for the Union Jack. Um, but this is, I think, a really nice com colour com combination and it's the one I've decided to go for. So I'm just gonna start off by grabbing a piece of the Real Red. And for this, all you're gonna need is a piece of cardstock you're going to need a hole punch, you're going to need some ribbon and you're going to need a trimmer and also a pen just to make some notes. So first of all what we're going to do is cut this down to six inches and I'm just going to open this back up and then what we're going to do is we go along and we're going to mark, make a notch at two and a half inches all the way along so we're going to do that a little at the bottom and at the top as well there's a two and a half and I've just told you two and a half which is completely wrong it's one and a half <clears throat> sorry it's one and a half so ignore me you need to do a notch at every one and a half inches at the top and the bottom I'm not really sure where I said one and a half must be my excitement getting to me now you can do these in pencil um, I was going to do this on the white piece of cardstock because so this really showed up but I haven't so I do apologise. So I was at 6 inches which means 7.5 is the next one. And, nine. and this is just going to help us create our triangles. So if you did this in pencil you'd be able to rub it out um, but it's not that big of a deal really. 
So then what we're going to do is I've got my notches all the way along the top. I'm going to start from the corner of um, the piece of cardstock. I'm going to go down to the my first notch. Let's just move this into a little bit better view for you. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the corner with the notch. Now what you could do here is you could draw it up like mine. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut along. And then I'm going to turn it so that the bottom lines up with the next one and a half inch there. I'm going to cut that down. Now what you want is a three inch width and then it's going to go down to the middle at the one and a half. And all I do then is from the next point along, I line that up to the next three inch mark. So you'll see that in the middle you will have a um, notch, but we can just ignore that, that's not a big problem. If it's in pencil you can obviously just rub it out. So again, using the corner to a notch, just making a diagonal cut and going across. Now you can get six um, pieces of bunting from an A4 sheet, which is really quite good, which means you can get some nice big bunting banners going along. And it really is just that simple. So there are all my triangles. Now, I will um, put a picture of this up, but as you can see, just to go over it again, this is three inches. And halfway across the middle is your one and a half inch mark, and that is what you're just lining them up against every time. And you will have random one and a half notches that we just need to ignore but it's easier to just mark up like this and then just cut along if you don't want to use the trimmer like i did all you need to do is create your template you can do that with a ruler um, and a pencil and then just cut along by hand so now all you need to do is to take your um, hole punch and begin popping holes in each corner like such so in a blue peter fashion, I have actually got some ready and I'll show you how I threaded them up and I've just realised that if you have some sellotape this is a bit easier or tear tape, I'm just going to grab a bit of tear tape, I forgot my other tip. So I'm just going to get open um, the ribbon and what I'm going to do is take a piece of tear tape, probably about an inch and a half and I'm going to bend this ribbon over and just wrap it around itself and take a bit of tear tape and wrap it as well. Now you can do this with sellotape or tear tape but all we're doing really is just creating a bit of a hard edge so that when we push this through it's easier. So all I'm going to do is thread the ribbon through the bunting and if you've got a nice hard edge it's so much easier because you don't need to fiddle with the end of the ribbon fraying or anything. So that is all you do. Now for this you could if you wanted have this in patterned if it's not for a um, a for the Royal Wedding Garden Party if you just want to do a normal party these could be patterned, these could be embellished as much as you like I want mine to be really simple because I just want the red, white and blue I'm going to put it onto the top of my food area and around my fence so that's all I really want and because it's just going onto a fence I haven't done any endings I'm literally just going to tack this into the fence probably maybe every fifth one I'm just going to make a tack and it's going to run along the edge of my fence so that's all you need to do for the bunting. Now let me show you how to make the heart bunting. So just take a look. The difference for this one is that I have created just some um, hoops at the end. That's because where I'm going to hook these, I just wanted them to have a bit of a handle. Now I'll show you how to do this, but it's really easy. Again, I have used the same colours, so let's make a start. So the trick for this is to cut down your cardstock to one inch. You need 
I've done mine in alternate colours, so I've done them some with big heart, big red hearts and some with big blue, and I'll show you both variations. So what you want to do is start cutting cardstock down to one inches. The time being, just keep it to um, one inch by A4 width. And then we will cut it down after. So I am going to need... Oh, I'm going to just do two hearts. So I think I'm just going to need one, two, six. You need three pieces of white per um, heart. So two need to be kept A4 width. Then the both of the rest of them need to be cut down to nine inches. So let's just cut all of the rest of these pieces down. Now you could obviously cut this down first of all. But I just think it's easier just to get them all down to the one inch and then trim to the size you need. And I'm showing you a three tier heart, but you could make this into just two tiers if you wanted, or you could go up and have more colours. I probably wouldn't recommend doing more than five. So now let's take our blue and our red. And we're going to cut these down again to one inches. And we're going to need four of these. It's two per heart. And I'm just going to show you how to make two hearts. There we go. And for this occasion, two of our four are going to be cut to 11 inches. And two are going to be cut down to seven inches. This is because I'm going to show you um, one with the big heart, big blue heart, and one with a little blue heart. Now, what I've done with these is I've gone down in two inches, which is why you get this nice symmetrical look. So two at 11 and two at seven. And then let's move on to the red. Again, we need four, and again, it is two at 11 and two at seven. So this is a really, really easy craft to do. Great for crafting with kids or for crafting when you want something like party decorations that you maybe don't want to spend forever on because it's only going to be for one day. But they also need to look beautiful because otherwise why would you bother? So. And if you are having something for the Royal Wedding Party, please do let me know because it is so much fun. I am having a best of British theme. I've created a Pinterest board, which I will post in the um, on the website as well, with some ideas for some games you can play and some food you could make. But any kind of get together celebration would be great fun. So now I'm just gonna put them into piles so that I have everything I need ready now for this what you're going to need is a hole punch again you're also going to need a stapler and you're also going to need some ribbon so let's just cut this down and you're also going to need a bone folder so we're going to start with the big long white piece in the middle then we're going to do our next sizes either side so if this is a sandwich this is our main filler and these are our side fillers and again just putting the two on the side so it's gonna if you want to see the pattern it looks like that pop them together and then what you want to do is this big white piece you want this to be about half an inch lower than everything else And this bit is the tricky bit. So that's probably probably about an inch is probably about right. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your stapler and pop two staples in at the bottom. There we go. And then all we need to do is take our bone folder and we are going to just 
fold over the edges like you would do if you wanted to make ribbon curly and this just breaks down the fibres of the paper which means we get a really nice curve so again just pearl the paper back And all we do here is fold it down to the edge, to the end of where that white long strip is. And this is our heart. So you can see how quick and easy they really are to make, which is why they're so great at decorations. And then just two staples in the bottom, and I like to turn it over and do two staples in the other side. So that is one heart, we'll just show you how to do this again. So your longest piece in the middle, followed by either side, the next length, and again the next length either side, until you've got the shortest length. Pop them flat, take your white piece and lower it down so it is about an inch longer than the rest check that they're all still in the same place you want them to be at the same kind of height so that it works well and then staple the bottom together take your bone folder curl the edges by sides and then pull them forward so that it lines up with the bottom piece of card. There we go. And then again, staple. Two staples either side just keeps it nice and secure. And then what we need to do is decide on length. So for mine, I had them going different colours, different lengths. Let's just move these ones out of the way. I think I'm going to do the same again. And all you need to do then is just cut one layer down. All I did was pop mine in half and gave it a cut. Just neaten that up. And simply punch. in the middle and you thread the ribbon through and that is why it hangs at a nice angle it hangs so that you can see the detail of the heart so again if you're threading more I'd recommend popping some tape on the top just so the edges don't fray and if you want to have a hanging end what I recommend is getting something like a phone and tying it in a knot and then again another knot and then when you pull it tight you've just got yourself a nice little handle ready to hang it up okay so there you go that is how to make two different types of bunting for our garden party don't forget to print off the download for your invitation and your name places. These are completely free over at www.createwithkaylee.com. If you'd like to purchase any of the supplies used today and you live in the UK, please do get in touch. There is a shop now button on my website. Hit that, it just takes you straight over to my shop. Um, and I'd love to end your custom, so please get in touch with any questions. As always, the measurements are on my blog. On my blog. So thanks so much for watching and I'd love to see if your creations and know if you have your own garden party. See you soon. Bye bye.